What's up you guys, Forrest here with another episode of the FOCO Flow Show. Today, you know we've got the new Ritmo V2, got the ride in it, but now it's time to take care of it, put some 3M frame protectant over top of it. Uh, this is gonna be more of the DIY way, DIY way to do it instead of uh, some of the kits that you can buy. Pretty simple, but requires a little bit of time, so uh, let's uh, hop right into it. Remember, if you're liking the content, make sure you like and subscribe, it helps support the channel and then we've got lots of other videos coming out every week. So let's get into it, find that flow. All right, it's a good day. We got uh, ribs, you see guys? Ooh, that's good. We got ribs on the Traeger and it's gonna rain a little bit later today. So we are gonna spend some time in the shop with a new bike. If you can see it there, we're gonna spend some time protecting the main parts of the frame from rocks and chips and everything together. So first thing you gotta do, take a little bit of alcohol and uh, get right uh, into cleaning off that frame. Before we get too far into it, here's all the supplies you need. That 3M tape you can order off of Amazon for like 20 bucks, it's frame protectant. I'll post a link. We need uh, rubbing alcohol, a tape measure, a blade, and probably some sharp scissors that I use later on in the video. You also need a mixture of water and dish soap, as well as a credit card, or they actually make these little hard plastic straight edges that have some curves to them to help you push that soapy water out once you apply it to the frame. So the first step you want is to clean any dust and debris or dirt off of the frame using rubbing alcohol and just a regular old rag. Depending upon how thorough you want to be with the coverage of your frame protectant, you could remove the wheels and get you, you know, more access to the frame. I'm just going to do some of the key places where most impacts typically happen. Quick and easy here as you try to uh, get every edge that you plan to apply the frame protectant to it. Wipe down and clean. Give it a quick second to dry, which doesn't take that long with rubbing alcohol. The next step is to break out the tape measure, identify the first area you want to protect, and measure out the length that you want to cover with the frame protectant. We're doing the down tube here, which is definitely an area that I would recommend protecting as it's prone to rock strikes when you're bombing down the trail. Make sure you wrap uh, and measure across and around the whole side frame so you don't miss any of the areas. And sometimes you're gonna to have to cut them a little bit. And then you head over to your workspace, roll out that frame protectant 3M, and then it's really easy to cut with a blade, but I ended up using uh, scissors as sharp as you possibly can to uh, measure out and cut the area that you're going to trace just using a pencil on the back side using um, that as your stencil. So this is definitely a measure twice, uh, cut once type of endeavor, although this uh, is pretty easy to adjust if you need to trim a little section to make it fit closer to the curves of your frame. Then you take that soapy water, peel off the uh, adhesive layer, and you can be um, not too heavy handed here, but anything on here is just going to be more that you have to push out. So you spray it on there. And then the next step just requires um, uh, none like a patience here um, as you apply to your frame and it's going to slip and slide and then you slowly work um, the protectant down, pushing the liquid out first with your hand, sometimes with a rag and then ultimately with that uh, credit card or plastic straight edge.
So you get the idea here. You really can't rush this process and every time you think you've gotten every single air bubble out, you find another one and you gotta go back across it and push it all the way out. Go straight, go across, push it from the middle to the outer edge of the frame protectant. So we'll skip ahead here. I'll show you a few other areas that I decided to cover, repeating that same process over and over. And it's not a bad idea to just to take a break from the one section that you're trying to push the bubbles out, let it set for a minute, go do some other sections of the frame and then come back to it when you need to. So one other thing to look out for is some of these really tricky angles with all those swoopy, smooth carbon lines that you might have on your bike. Uh, especially this back angle of the top tube here uh, required a lot of uh, manipulation. When it first went on, it was all crinkled and uh, folded up, very difficult to get to look smooth. I didn't think it was going to adhere. So this last section literally took the longest of any of the sections that I was working on. Had to pull it off three or four times, reapply spray, keep pressing it, and it slowly, slowly started to smooth out until finally it got to a place where I was happy with it. So just persevere when you're working on this. Again, when you're gonna do DIY like this, it's not gonna be perfect. So we'll go through, we'll show you sort of the finished product. A heat gun helps in this situation, maybe to push some of those air bubbles out. But overall, for $20 instead of $100, $200 for ride wrap and things like that. I think we came out okay. So nothing like a few hours of frame protection install to work up an appetite. So nothing left to do now but uh, hang the bike back up and get into some ribs. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's go find that flow. 